Hello YouTube, how are you? My name is Who's Afraid of Eric Nording. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about myself before I get into the purpose of this video. Um, I'm living in northern Canada, uh, northern Alberta to be more specific. Uh, it's winter here, which means it's very cold. Uh, actually, the weather in my city is very similar to that in Siberia, in uh, northern Russia. So if you know anything about uh, the winter in northern Russia, you can imagine it's quite cold. Uh, however, I'll survive, hopefully, uh, make it to spring. Uh, I was recently living in Kiev, Ukraine. I was working for an international company there. Uh, I lived there from October of 2013 until uh, the end of summer. Uh, I decided to move back when the situation in Ukraine was uh, getting too unpredictable and uh, dangerous. Uh, I was working for an international company there, which has nothing to do with the current uh, or past political situation in Ukraine. Um, I can tell you that I miss Kiev, the capital of Ukraine, very much. I miss my friends there, and I plan on moving back next summer. Um, the purpose of this video is not to discuss the political situ situation in Ukraine. Uh, in fact, I would rather uh, avoid doing that and uh, talk about the actual purpose of this video, which is a new hobby I decided to take up, and that is pipe smoking. Um, now, I have never smoked before in my life, uh, save a few cigarettes when I was in high school. Um, so I come into this hobby pretty uh, fresh and pretty naive and ignorant, if you will. Um, I tried it for the first time last winter in Kiev. Uh, during the fighting in February, I bought a briar pipe and a startup kit from a, a tobaccoist near my apartment in Academy Stechko in, in Kiev, if you know where that is. Um, and I bought some sort of aromatic tobacco. It was a W.O. Larson. I, I'm not really sure what it was. It was very fruity. But it complemented uh, cognac very well. And uh, while I was hiding in my apartment from the fighting at the, in the center of Kiev at Maidan, I was uh, enjoying the tobacco and alcohol very much. Um, so anyway, when I returned to Canada, I decided I would uh, pursue this hobby much more earnestly uh, now that I'm back, and I can tell you that I'm enjoying it very much. Now, as I said, I've, until now I've never really smoked. I don't know, I didn't know anything about pipe smoking, and I don't know anyone who pipe smokes. The only person I've ever known who smoked a pipe was my grandfather, and that was when I was a boy, and that was very long ago. So. What I did was is that I did a lot of research on the internet and uh, what I found was a whole forum a whole of uh, pipe smokers on YouTube. And to me, uh, your videos, the information that you've uploaded has been priceless uh, for me to get into pipe smoking. I mean, if it wasn't for your videos, I never would have taken up this hobby. And believe me, if you have uploaded a series of videos on YouTube about pipe smoking, I guarantee you I have watched at least one, if not more. And I have to thank the pipe smoking community on YouTube uh, for the information and experiences that you've provided. Um, it has helped me immeasurably, and uh, I hope it will continue to do so as I move forward with this new hobby. Now, uh, there's a few other things I want to talk about. Uh, one is pipe smoking in public. Um, there's a very good YouTuber, I believe he's a public pipe smoker, I think that's his name. Public Piper, that's his name. Uh, he talks about and he shows videos about him smoking uh, pipes in public. I believe it's in Raleigh, North Carolina or in Richmond, Virginia, one of these cities. And uh, I really like those videos. And I myself, when the weather has allowed it, uh, have been trying to smoke in public and I think that's important for pipe smokers to uh, smoke in public um, to bring some sort of awareness to the hobby I mean I've read that uh, pipe smoking is in serious decline I don't know if that's true or not I think there's a lot of people who do smoke pipes uh, but I think they do it at home uh, in privacy and they don't do it so much in public and I think that's a shame. I've actually read that the author Martin Amos is a pipe smoker, but he will not smoke a pipe in public. In fact, I couldn't even find a picture of him smoking a pipe. Um, and I think that's terrible. I, I don't know why he wouldn't smoke it in public. And uh, I really, I've been actively trying to do it a lot more. Um, 
Of course, you get some strange reactions on the street. Some people smile. Some people sort of frown. Um, I really haven't had any too much interaction because most of the time I'm doing it while I'm out walking, if I'm going to the grocery store or, uh, or whatnot. So I haven't had any real interaction, but I'm sure that will happen in spring and summer when I'm able to sit outside and smoke. Um, at least that's what I hope to do. And, then I'm, and I'm hoping that, I, that other people will do this as well and uh, share their experiences here on YouTube about smoking a pipe in public. Now, as I said, I'm quite new to the hobby, and uh, I've had some uh, a, lot, a lot of time to uh, try different tobaccos. Uh, a lot of tobaccos that you have recommended uh, here on YouTube, and uh, I want to talk about a few of them, mostly for new pipe smokers, and uh, or for people who are thinking about taking up the hobby. Because for me, the most difficult part of all this was choosing tobaccos. Uh, finding pipes was not difficult. Um, but choosing which tobaccos to smoke, I found, was the most daunting thing, as I knew nothing about pipe tobacco. I didn't even know where to begin. But I told myself one thing, that when I did decide to smoke uh, different tobaccos, that I would be very honest with myself and what I thought about these tobaccos and whether I enjoyed them or not. I wasn't going to post a video talking about pipe smoking and uh, pipe tobacco and talk and say that I liked uh, this or that because other people on YouTube liked it. Um, I will say that I did. The ones I have selected have been uh, directly influenced by your videos. However, I was going to be adamant that the ones I liked, uh, I would like honestly and not because I was trying to win friends or win popularity on YouTube. That was that's certainly not my goal. So, the three tobaccos right now that have impressed me the most out of the ones I've tried, and I've probably tried. 15 to 20 different ones at this point. I hope to try more here very soon. Um, but the ones that have impressed me the most are in order. Uh, I would say at number three right now is Peter Stuckaby's Luxury Bullseye Flake. I have quite a bit of it here. I've been smoking it like crazy. I think it's just a terrific looking tobacco. I mean, you can see the swirl and the Cavendish in the middle. I think that's just absolutely wonderful. And it smells quite good too. I've really been enjoying this tobacco. I believe it was Nathan Campbell who said it was his absolute favorite tobacco and uh, that it will always be his favorite tobacco. So I gave it a shot and I really enjoy it. I think it's quite good. Uh, number two on my list was actually recommended by the Obacoist, one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, and that is Robert McConnell's uh, Oriental. Uh, it's a really great tobacco. Really great tobacco. I have... Uh, been enjoying quite a bit of it, quite a bit of it here lately and I hope to do more I Orientals I'm finding quite enjoyable there's another one here it's not on my list yet but I, I just uncovered his Balkan blue another really great tobacco I think these are very similar very similar tobaccos and I highly recommend them to new pipe smokers but the one that I've liked the most and it was the very first one I tried and it was one that I almost wanted to not love as much because it was so well loved on YouTube and talked about to no end. But I have to admit, it's my favorite tobacco. It's my go-to right now. And that is uh, Seattle Pipe Club's Mississippi River. I have some of it right here. Uh, it is, without doubt, my favorite tobacco. I mean, it smells wonderful. It's uh, I love smoking. It's got a nice aroma. It's got a nice aftertaste. There's... You know, there's, there's nothing about this that I dislike. I could smoke this all day long and be completely happy with it. Um, so if you're a new pipe smoker, such as I am, I highly recommend Seattle Pipe Club's Mississippi River. So, this is my first video. I'm a little bit nervous. I uh, finally got through it. and uh, But basically, I want to once again thank all the YouTubers for uh, all your pipe smoking videos. I've really enjoyed them. I hope you continue to make them. I uh, will try to make a few more, especially when I get to Ukraine. Uh, when I move back, I will definitely be making uh, more videos about my experiences in Ukraine and pipe smoking and whatnot. Okay? Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with my uh, what might be a ramble. And I hope to talk to you very soon. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Diakuyu. Spicy ba. Kersenem sepen. Dankeschön. Goodbye.